hello guys welcome to our channel uh before we start guys i would like to urge you to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of the videos that we'll be uploading from time to time okay in today's video guys i am going to show you how to drive an automatic vehicle so if you have been wondering uh, how you drive an automatic car uh, today i am going to show you how you go about it okay so before wasting your time um if maybe if we can uh, look down there um this guys is the accelerator um, usually in a manual car or a stick car you would have uh, three pedals you would have your accelerator you would have your brakes you would have a third uh, ex um, pedal uh, which would usually be here which would be your clutch but in this instance uh, we are doing uh, i'm going to show you how you drive an automatic car so there is no need for a clutch because everything is done automatically for you so basically an automatic car is designed to make your life easier when driving okay so guys um uh, the car that we'll be using today it's a mazda it's a mazda demio um it's basically a car uh, which is an ex japanese vehicle um if if you stay in the southern africa uh, you would know there are countries like zimbabwe botswana lesotho and swaziland uh, i think those cars they uh, those countries they use cars which have been imported from japan uh, so this car it was once used in japan so um when you are driving an automatic car it's different uh, from an uh, a manual vehicle uh, if we come to this side, um, you would notice that um, this is uh, the gear lever where you will be changing um, your gears. So as you can see, uh, the first item, uh, which is this one, it's a P. P stands for park. And then the next one is an R, an R standing for reverse. And then the third one is an N, that's for neutral. And then this is D for drive and then this is S if you want to put the vehicle in sport mode and then this L is for learner so guys um, if you want to drive an automatic vehicle the first thing that you obviously need is you cannot start this vehicle while it is, is while it is in drive so you would need to put the vehicle in park so that you can start so for you to do um for you to do the proper thing is uh, the first thing that you need to do is um obviously you need to locate uh, the ignition um right so this is uh the ignition of the vehicle so what i'm gonna do is uh this is the key of the vehicle so what you do is you insert the key into the ignition and then if you look down there uh, before you do anything you need to step on the brakes so that um, the, some cars won't be able to start without you stepping on the uh, on the brakes but in this particular vehicle you can even start the vehicle without stepping on the brakes so uh, for instance okay just for safety uh, you just uh, step on the brakes and then you would need to turn on the ignition so when you turn on the ignition you obviously see some changes on the on the vehicle dashboard you see uh, all the lights have, um, have come up just to to show you what's functional and so on a normal circumstance on a normal circumstance all those lights should disappear once you have started what are the vehicle so we're gonna start we're gonna kick start the vehicle just now okay guys uh, as you can see uh the the revs have uh, slightly increased uh to to about a thousand and then uh, they've uh, they've came back uh, again if you don't know about revs don't worry about it uh, that's not uh the, the goal uh, for this video so our car is started now as you can see on the electronic uh or on the dashboard there it shows that our vehicle is in park so what we need to do is for you to move forward you need to put the vehicle in drive so what you then need to do is you come to this knob to, to your gear lever i mean right and then you put your vehicle you press this thing yeah you press it like that and then you move this thing backwards and so as you are moving that uh, the gear lever backwards it will reflect where it um, where the 
which point we have uh, actually selected so like right now we have selected a d which stands for drive so the next thing what you need to do is you have to disengage the hand crank this thing so you push it in and then you disengage and then remember guys you still what press on the uh, brakes and if you are driving an automatic vehicle there is really no need for you to use your, your left leg you will be using your right leg both to accelerate and to brake so the whole idea with an automatic is you can only do one thing at a time you cannot accelerate and brake at the same time so for for instance in this case we are currently braking so we are not moving so if you want to move forward you need to let go of what the brakes and then you put your leg on the what on the accelerator so if i move the brakes like um it's only that uh, i only have one camera guys so i am going to show you uh i am going to uh, to move uh, my foot slightly uh, away from the brakes and then you will see that uh, the car will actually what start to move so as i have uh, I, I have slowly moved uh, my leg there and then uh, now the vehicle is in motion guys uh, with an automatic car the moment you lift uh, your foot from the brakes the car will start uh, what moving so if you want to increase speed because uh, right now we are moving uh, slowly if you want to increase speed you slightly press on the what on the accelerator there and then your vehicle will what would move and then the same thing if you want to brake you obviously need to press on the what on the brakes and then your car would what would stop so as of now i've pressed at the brakes and then at the car is what is stopped and guys if you now want to switch off the car or if you want to leave the vehicle remember you need to go back to your gear lever and then you press this thing and then you move it forward all the way to what to park to show that your vehicle is now in park and then once you have done that you um, go to your handbrake and then you press that thing and then you lift it up and then you let go and then your handbrake is engaged and then as you can see also on the dashboard there are those two um and those two red uh things uh those two red lights it's only that uh it's not really clear but the light on your right side it shows that uh, the handbrake has been engaged okay guys so this is how you drive um an automatic car uh, thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please remember to share and like it um, thank you see you in the next video